So, you've heard the saying, he's carrying a lot of baggage from the past, or watch out for her baggage. But think about it. Baggage. We get it from other people about the things they say to us or do to us. And if we carry these things around, in essence, we carry around baggage. We begin collecting baggage when we're just little kids. Hey. Hey, what's going on? Look, um, I need to talk to you. Uh, sure, what's up? So, I was talking to the gang. Okay. And I was the elected spokesperson. Okay, so what's the gang doing? We're going to build a treehouse. Oh, cool. I've always wanted to build a treehouse. Well, um, you see, the thing is, you're not really going to get to. What? You're just not, okay? Why can't I? Well, we decided that you'll weigh us down. What? Look. You're too fat, okay? No. Mommy just says I'm chunky. Peanut butter is chunky. You are fat. Well, Mommy says I have big bones. Dinosaurs have big bones. You are fat. <laughs> well, Mommy says I've lost a lot of weight recently. I think you found it again. Sorry. So, you've heard that sticks and stones may break my bones, but words will never hurt me? Well, guess what? It's one of the biggest lies we've ever been taught. Words can cut so deep, and if we don't learn to let go and discover who we are in Christ, what we do is we pick up baggage and carry it around. Because, you see, we can't find our self-worth based on other people or what they think of us. We can only find our self-worth based on Christ and our relationship with Him. But it doesn't seem to be that easy. Because as life goes on, and we get a little older. We tend to just pick up more baggage. Sometimes, we pick up baggage from someone very close to us. Like a best friend. Hey, Shelly. Hey, look. Um, I know I was supposed to call you like on behalf of my buddy, but we talked for like hours and hours last night. And it just... I, I, I think that I love you. Seriously, I love you so much. And I even wrote a song for you. Um, uh, it's, um, oh, Shelly, you are so pretty. Okay, I haven't cut all the words yet, but once I do, I think you'll be really cool. Um, and, oh, I, I gotta, gotta go by. Hey, hey, buddy, what's up? Not much, dude. Who is that? The, that, well, that was my mother. Uh, no. So, you were singing a song to your mom? Yes. Yes, she, she likes music. Oh, okay, because okay. I, I thought I heard you say Shelly. I did say Shelly, because that's my mother's name. Uh, yeah. I thought your mom's name was Kelly. Yeah, it is. Um... Um, she Shelly is her middle name. Yeah. Your mom's name is Kelly Shelly? Yeah, yeah. Um, and like sometimes people make fun of her as her name, so I need to sing to her to make her feel better. Yeah, yeah. Well, that's cool. Anyway, have you talked to Shelly? You, you, you mean, you, you mean you, your, your Shelly? Yes, my Shelly. Okay. Um, yeah, yeah. Um, I, I, I talked to her. And? And? Look. Well, buddy, um, you know how you constantly, like, reference her as, like, your Shelly? Um, well, she's not really gonna be your Shelly anymore. Why? Well, um, we, ju we just talked for a while, and we just, I think we really hit it off. Oh, okay. Are you telling me that you guys talked for like a couple hours and then you were going out or something? What? No. No, we just, I, we just talked for a long time, and, and I really think that we just clicked. So just, don't let this come between us, though, dude. No, you look. How do you say that we were kids that I like this girl? I, I know. Are, are you telling me that you guys talked? And are going out or something? But what do, would you... Be, don't, don't let this come between us. We've been best friends since kindergarten. Come on, dude. What do you mean, don't let this come between us? 
we've been best friends since we were like five. Let's do, come on. Did I you mean, even like me at all? Well, um, she said that she just wanted to be friends. Doesn't that work? No? Okay. She just wants to be friends. Listen, I'd rather really roll around on taps and then soak in lemon juice I mean, than just be her friend. What are you doing? I'll be joking. We're best friends forever, dude. Don't don't let this come between us. Well, guess what? Bird has got a lot short. You were supposed to be my best friend. Your friends. They're just trying to live right. Just like you are. And they may make some poor decisions, and we may get hurt by it. But if we don't learn to forgive, if we hold on to these things, what we do is we pick up more baggage. You see, the truth about baggage is we don't really need other people to give it to us. We do a pretty good job of dumbing it on ourselves when we think things like, I'll never be as popular as they are, or I'll never be as good at sports as they are, or why is life so easy for them and so hard for me? When we buy into these lies, we pick up more baggage. Or we find ourselves thinking things like, they haven't made why is life so easy for them? And when we listen to that thought, even more baggage. Sometimes, baggage can come from someone who loves us dearly, but they just don't realize that their words cut like a knife. Son, hey, Dad. What happened out there today? I, I don't know. The lights got in my eyes, and the ball slipped. The lights got in your eyes. You lost the game because of that right there. The lights got in your eyes. The ball slipped. The ball slipped. How many times have we practiced at 5 in the morning before I went to work and you went to school? Don't you realize there were college scouts out there? The ball slipped, Dad. The ball slipped. Hey, Coach. No, no, final triggers, yeah. We will work on it. What's the status? You're still, still going to play them, right? All right, see you later. Are you crying? No. Don't. I won't. Come on, get your stuff. The ball slipped, Dad. Enough! I am going to go get the car. You are going to get your stuff. Is it okay for me just to be disappointed? These are our dreams, you know. Come on. Our parents, they don't mean to hurt us. It's just, they've got their own baggage. And when we don't deal with baggage, we pass it on. And for us, if we find our identity in anything other than Christ, we pick up more baggage. It gets uncomfortable, tedious. And our natural tendency is to want to dump our baggage onto somebody else. But it always backfires. Hey, big brother, I was just Okay, no, hold it. Did you just walk into my room? You didn't knock. You didn't ask. You didn't even say anything. You know that's not how you act. Go back out. Can I come in? Yes. I was just wondering if you could take me and my friends to school. You are not doing this. What? Okay, listen. Just because you and your little dweeb friends are going to be in high school now, doesn't mean that you and I are going to hang out. Because I don't want anyone to know that you're my little sister. Because guess what? You're a freak. People look at you and they think she's a freak. And if they find out we're related, then I'm a freak too. So I don't care how you get to school. I don't care if you walk, if you crawl. But I'm not your chauffeur. Got it? It's not my fault that Dad left. Why do you keep taking it out on me? Whatever. You know I'm right. Okay. I'm sorry. You're not sorry. You're sorry I called you out. Whatever. I'll ride my bike. Hey, I said I'm sorry. And, in the midst of dumping baggage off on somebody else, we just end up picking up more. And then, there's this other bag. It's my sin. My secret sin. And it, it's cool, because no one knows about it. But, when I think I've got it under control, maybe he's got control over me. Even if no one else knows, God knows. So, we live our lives, and when we've got things all balanced out, maybe no one can really tell. But sometimes things get unbalanced, and we find ourselves struggling just to stay up. 
Know what you're going to do with Jesus. I have come that you may have life, and that you may have it abundantly. But let's be honest. This ain't the abundant life. I can't walk. I can't even stand up straight. And then I remember his words. Come to me, all you who are weary and worn out, and I will give you rest. And that's what I want. So I say, Jesus, please, if you're willing, take this baggage from me. Because I'm miserable. And I can't live like this anymore. Please, take it. And you know what? He takes it. 